Running has the power to improve all of our lives, regardless of age. But did you know that running over the age of 40 could potentially save your life? First, let's talk about the research behind those reported health benefits of running over 40. According to a study conducted by the American Heart Association, running regularly can reduce the risk of premature death by up to 30%. Running can also help lower the risk of heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. Do you have to run high mileage to get these results? No. In fact, the key to achieving these huge health benefits is consistency in your training. It's important to make running a regular part of your routine, aiming for at least 30 minutes of running three to four times per week. In addition to improving cardiovascular health, running can also have a positive impact on your mental health. Studies have shown that it can reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression and can even help prevent cognitive decline as we age, which is personally something that terrifies me. So anything that helps to keep my brain sharper for longer is automatically a win. From a mental health point of view, regular running has been found to increase the production of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals, which can help boost mood and reduce stress. If you're over 40 and are yet to start running, getting into a good running routine may seem daunting, but it's never too late to begin. As with any new training regime, start slowly with a combination of walking and running, and as you build up your stamina, you can increase the amount of time spent running and gradually work up to longer distances. In fact, there's a free Run Walk Run training plan available to download on my website. I'll leave a link in the description. As you start to build up your running routine, it's important to set realistic goals for yourself. Setting a goal to run a marathon in your first year of running is probably a bit of a stretch, although plenty of people actually do so. But setting a goal to run your first 5k after 12 to 16 weeks of regular running is totally doable. Once you achieve your initial goal, set another one, always pushing yourself to continue improving as a runner. Another important aspect to consider as you run over the age of 40 is to properly warm up before and cool down after you run. Warming up before a run will help increase the blood flow to your muscles and fire up your neuromuscular system, both of which will help to reduce the risk of injury. It'll also get your heart, lungs and cardiovascular system in general ready for the workout ahead. There's nothing worse than starting a run from cold and feeling horrible in that first mile as your body reels to catch up. After your run, it's important to cool down with a few minutes of stretching, which will help to reduce muscular soreness and stiffness and speed up your post-run recovery. It's also important to stay hydrated while running. Drinking water or an electrolyte drink before, during and after your run will help to keep your body properly hydrated. Keeping on top of your hydration will particularly make a difference in your longer runs, but it is of course also just really important for general health. Another thing to consider is the potential benefit of finding yourself a running partner or joining a running club. Getting sociable with your running can be a great way to stay motivated and on track with your running goals. Running with others can also be a great way to find like-minded individuals who share your passion for running, rather than you boring your spouse with endless running chat. It can also be a great way to challenge yourself and push yourself to go further, faster. Factoring some sort of weekly variation into your running routine will also really help you to avoid boredom and injury. You can do this by mixing up your running routes, incorporating different terrains such as trails, grass, hills, and incorporating other types of cross training like strength work or pilates. Cross training can help to improve your overall fitness and reduce the risk of running injuries. Finally, as we age, it's important to pay attention to our nutrition and make sure that we're fueling our bodies properly. Eating a balanced diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables and lean proteins and as few processed foods and refined carbs as possible can help provide the energy and nutrients we need to support our running routine. Carbohydrates are important, of course, as you get more serious about your running and push yourself harder. However, the types of carbs you consume really matters. But that's a conversation for another day. Running over 40 really does have numerous benefits for both our physical and mental health, and it's never too late to start. If you're dealing with a chronic health issue, you might want to have a chat with your doctor before throwing yourself headlong into running. But for the vast majority of people, starting slowly, running gently, and listening to your body will have you making the most of your running routine. So whether you're looking to improve your health, boost your mood, or simply enjoy the outdoors, committing to running over 40 might just be the best decision you'll ever 
make. Check out the video on screen right now for some of the biggest mistakes that runners over 40 ever make so that you avoid ruining your training.